Hello, I'm Pirate Dave. In my last video, I showed you how to cheat at Shadowrun Returns using the Shadowrun Editor. Uh, in this video, a little less of a criminal act, a little bit more innocent, I will show you how to add a portrait into the base Shadowrun Returns game, Dead Man Switch, um, without using the in-game editor, without booting the game. We can do this all in Explorer with any portrait that you need. It's going to be very low-tech other than using the PC, of course. Uh, and we're essentially going to be replacing the portraits that are already in game to do this. It's going to be very, very simple. Um, first, we're going to need the portrait itself. I assume you already have one in mind. We're going to need to resize the portrait down to 212 by 278 pixels. And we're going to need to put it into the proper format, which is going to be .png. Uh, assuming you know how to do all that already, there's going to be a nifty little button below. So you can skip ahead in the video to actually adding your portrait into the game. If you don't know how to do any of that, don't worry. I'll show you right now. We'll use the very basic of tool sets. We're going to use MS Paint for this. Um, obviously, uh, Photoshop or some other image editing software would be optimal. But everybody, pretty much everybody has MS Paint, so we'll use MS Paint for that. So like I said, first we're going to need an image. You already have your image in mind. Uh, I know what image I'm going to use. Uh, if you're going from the internet, just go on to Google search, Facebook, whatever and find your image. I'm of course using the beautiful Marilyn Monroe. Um, once you've found your image, go ahead and right click and select copy image. And that should be copied at that point. Once it's copied, go ahead and open up your paint program, usually located in your start menu, all programs, accessories, paint. And from here, all you have to do is click paste. There you go. Control V, paste, either way. Uh, if you're using an image that's already on your computer. I'll show you that how to do that real quick as well. Go to the file location of your image. I don't know where that is. I can't tell you. Find the image you want to use. Go ahead and open with and select paint. There you go. Uh, if you open an image that's already on your computer, you're going to have to go up to here and hit select all. If you're copying from the internet, you're already selected all, but go ahead and hit it anyway in case you're, uh, in case you're paranoid. So we have our portrait. We're in our image editing software. Now we, the next step is to resize it to the proper size. We already know the size we need, which is 212 by 278. To do that, we're going to make sure our image is selected, all of it, and we're going to go up to resize right here. Click on that. Resize by. Go ahead and click on pixels. And unclick maintain aspect ratio, otherwise these numbers will jump around. Go ahead and hit in 212, 212 for horizontal, and 278, 278 for vertical. Go ahead and click OK. Now, the downfall of MS Paint, of course, is all this white space that you get uh, in, a, in Photoshop or some other edi image editing software. You won't really have to deal with that. For MS Paint, you're going to have to manually go down and pull that white space up uh, so that it doesn't appear in your image and you're just gonna have to get this as close as possible uh, basically we don't want portraits that are just grossly oversized if it's around the size you know yeah like I said 278 we have 277 that's going to work so don't worry about it uh, so now we have it on the correct size the next step is we need to get it into the correct format the correct format is dot PNG it's very simple with MS paint just go up to this little guy right here little blue button click on it click save as go ahead and click PNG picture and just make sure that there's a dot PNG on the end there and you can go ahead and click save and that's done now it's in the correct format so uh, now everybody should be joining us that has already had their portraits ready resized and in the correct format thank you thank you for rejoining us now we're gonna go about putting the picture uh, into the portraits folder of Dead Man Switch so that we can use it in game. Essentially we're going to rename the picture that we just made uh, as one of the portraits that are already in game uh, in order to use it properly. So go ahead and select the uh, proper image. As you can see a little pop up here, Dimensions 212-277. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and rename it um, with a Z at the beginning because it'll make it easier to find in the folder that we're gonna be using. So go ahead and rename it, and uh, once you've renamed it, once it's named uh, properly, however you like it, go ahead and copy that image. 
So to reach the portrait folder for Dead Man Switch that Dead Man Switch pulls from, you're going to go to your computer, C drive, program files x86, scroll down to your Steam folder, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, go down to your Shadowrun Returns folder, Shadowrun Data, Streaming Assets, Content Packs, Seattle, art and portraits and so this is the folder we need go ahead and copy your fold your go ahead and copy your image into this folder now like I said I put a Z at the front so that it'll easily be the lowest image uh, lowest image in the folder very easy to find so now that we have it in the correct folder we want to go about naming it uh, correctly so that we can use it in game uh, for whatever character class you want to use you're going to want to search for that that character uh, race and gender amongst these portraits. They all have the same naming convention. All the all the ones that start with PC are going to be the player portraits that you can choose from in the character creator. Uh, you can see a couple here: backer, backer, backer. These are these are in-game portraits um, that are either being used currently in the default scenario or are for scenario creation later. So you're just going to want to worry about the PC underscore uh, race gender. For Marilyn, uh, she's a human female. So we're going to want to find a human female. You can go ahead and click on any one of these images. And if you were looking for, say, human female, you would go PC underscore human female. You just type that into your keyboard, and already that's the first, uh, that's the first selection. And we're going to replace the faceless name here. It's very simple. Go ahead and right-click on that and click Rename and copy what's there right now using control C uh, at this point you want to rename the portrait rename it to something that uh, you'll you'll remember real easily uh, it won't be accessed in game because it'll be a different file name that the game tries to pull from uh, but at least it'll be still in the folder if you ever if you ever get you know homesick for the original portraits that were in the game so we're gonna rename that to PC human female 2 underscore 00 underscore faceless and that'll just be sitting in our game uh, now we had the file name saved on our clipboard we're gonna go to the portrait that we pulled into this folder go ahead and right click on it select rename and just hit control V and there you go PC human female underscore 00 underscore faceless and it's, that's it that's all you need to do once that's done when you go into the game, uh, the PC faceless human female that used to be a darkened uh, silhouette of a human female is now going to be Marilyn Monroe. Just trust me. Are you not going to trust me? It's the internet. Like I said in my previous video, I don't expect you to trust me, so I'm going to show you real quick that it did in fact work. Uh, go ahead and boot up your game. And remember for Marilyn, we we replace the portrait for the human female so to get the portrait we need we're going to want to select of course uh, gender female uh, race human and then any any class should do and there you go there's Marilyn such a beauty such a beauty uh, it really is as e it really is easy as that you know uh, Hopefully I didn't make it sound too complicated. Um, it's very simply resizing whatever portrait you want to use down to 212 by 278, uh, reformatting it to .png, putting it in that folder, and then replacing one of the file names uh, for whatever character, whatever gender, and whatever race you want to use with the, uh, with the desired portrait. And then just to show you real quick, there she is in game. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Pirate Dave. Uh, again, I hope that you're enjoying Shadowrun Returns. Uh, see you next time.